On this episode of the Turnbuckle, Dominic Mysterio is told by Rene Dupree that he needs to hit the gym. There's a call for CM Punk and the Elite to work together again by Dax Harwood. And justice for Nash Carter starts trending during NXT. Folks, we're getting your favorite wrestling move into some wrestling news because it's time for the Turnbuckle. <laughs> Rene Dupree suggested that he would be willing to teach Dominic Mysterio and that he needed to work out. The former tag team champion said on his Cafe de Rene podcast that Dominic Mysterio needs to go to the gym in response to his present shape. Would I train him? Yeah, he needs to hit the gym. But you know what? 85% is backstage. His dad's loved and a legend and he doesn't have to. Dominic Mysterio is in one of those lucky positions right now where he's kind of got, he's kind of got like a, a, a Bobby Heenan, Jimmy Hart situation going on where he, he is involved in the program and he's actually a really prominent character to be honest with you but he doesn't have to get in the ring in terms of just where dominic mysterio is right now right in the position of the stable that he's in it's a very like prominent position for him and it's very obviously you know beneficial to his character and when it comes to working out right that isn't something that he has to do he doesn't have to do it he can if he really wants to and i was thinking about this and i was like man now would probably be the best time to do it because you're not really involved in anything right like like uh, extensive in terms of like getting into the ring so if you wanted to you could like hit the gym a couple days come back do something outside of the ring leave again do something you know in the gym and stuff like that and like over time as you start building up then you know you'll start getting featured in matches a lot more not to say and this is the thing that I really like he started out in matches right it isn't like he just well obviously you know this is before he had any wrestling know-how or anything this is before he was green as grass this is during he was green as grass so he was just used and angled but then he started getting into the ring and now I feel like a he's worked with a lot of people that's the thing about Dominic is that he's worked with a lot he's worked with Ray who else Edge I know Edge um I know he's worked with uh I think I want to say Seth I think he was working with Seth. He's worked. He, I'm saying he's worked with. A, okay, he's worked with enough like trustworthy, reliable, uh, responsible. I feel like those are all three the same thing. But you know what I mean. He's not going in there with like Brock Lesnar on like his worst day. You don't have to worry about like someone dropping him on purpose or something like that like they're gonna make sure that he knows what he's doing i'm sure they probably already went over the match a bunch of times so like like i highly doubt damien and balor have just sort of like been you know casting him off i'm sure that they've been like here's how you do this he's i hope i hope you're right because i'm not him i hope he's asking questions and you know they're giving him the answers and everything so really honestly it's up to da it's damien it's up to dominic right right now what he wants to do but i feel like in the future if you if you ask me i feel like now is probably the best time to do it because you're not involved in anything and you could do that and come back you know what i mean and it'll it'll honestly it'll pay dividends for you in the near future so only time will tell if that actually happened or not next we're gonna be talking about dax harwood and how he calls for cm punk and the elite to be unselfish and work together again while well, speaking on the first episode of ftr with dax harwood dax harwood pleaded with cm punk and the elite to be unselfish and work together this is my plea to all four guys please find a way to make it work if we can make it work we can set up the future of professional wrestling for a long time and we can change the course of professional wrestling for a very long time when you think about it unselfishly we're doing this for 20 to 30 years down the road so guys and girls can make a living now he talked about a lot of stuff so he talked about how he wanted CM Punk and them to work together. He talked about how CM Punk didn't even want to be the AEW World Champion. He also talked about CM Punk contacted him like right after the brawl and everything. And okay, so I read it. I didn't watch it. I read it. And I was, I didn't even know that he was doing it to be totally honest with you. I thought that this podcast thing was not going to happen for like another couple weeks, but it just happened. I was like, oh, okay. But um, he was like, he literally said a bunch of stuff. That literally can be boiled down to, I don't actually know what happened. Everyone could potentially be lying, but everyone could also be telling the truth. That's literally it. Play with me in this space, okay? Come come here, sit down, all right, relax. Just play with me in this space for just a little bit, okay? This is bleeding into the theory that CM Punk is potentially coming back. Because if you remember, there were guys in CM Punk's camp. When this initially started out, there were people who were saying like, oh, the Bucks don't like him, and eh, the band is a lot of drama, and you know what I'm saying? And CM Punk doesn't like it and it's all that. So, you know, it's a lot of back and forth. A lot of people are saying this and saying that and all that sort of stuff. So you're never really going to get like a full definitive answer from anyone, to be honest with you. I mean, at the end of the day, man, it's really hard to tell. But yeah, man, Dax didn't really say 
like a whole lot. It wasn't anything like groundbreaking or anything. He just wants them to work together again. And he gave some insight into how CM Punk was as a champion. And that was pretty much it. So I just wanted to talk about that. Finally, we're going to be talking about justice for Nash Carter trending during WWE NXT. Nash Carter debuted alongside Wesley in 2021 and quickly became the NXT Tag Team Champions. Their meteoric rise would continue and MSK became one of the most popular tag teams in NXT. They were known for the unique moveset and high flying style. However, their rise was quickly brought to an abrupt halt when Nash Carter's ex-wife Kimberly accused him of assaulting her over a period of time. Shortly after, Kimberly posted a photo showing Nash Carter performing the Nazi salute with a mustache similar to Adolf Hitler. This resulted in WWE releasing him from his contract. During Wesley's title defense against Tony D'Angelo on NXT, the hashtag justice for Nash Carter started trending on Twitter with many fans asking Triple H to rehire Carter again. Have I missed something? Did I get knocked on my head when I went outside to take the trash out? Am I in a simulation? What do you mean, Justice for Nashville? What are you talking about? Hello? Did I record? I didn't. I hit the thing. What are you talking about? Justice for Nash. Didn't he assault his girlfriend? He did something clearly not okay and very, like, insensitive and also a bit anti Semitic. And you want justice for him? Was he, like, wrongfully accused? What, is that not him in the photo? I don't, what do you mean? What do you, what do you mean? You know what's funny? The tweets are like, oh, Triple H, give Nash Carter a chance. And oh, Triple H, it's 2020, it's the new year, you should, huh? I feel as though that because Wesley is having such a prominent, like, uh, uh, boost in popularity, this has suddenly gotten people to think that Nash Carter deserves that popularity too, despite the fact that he did everything in his power to make sure that doesn't happen. I don't understand why anybody is assuming that this needs to be this man's future that doesn't make any sense to me nash carter should be nowhere near a wrestling ring okay and nowhere near a woman for that matter if those are the type of things that he's going to be doing lord okay i again why on earth this started trending is beyond me i hope this is the last time we talk about it all right and <laughs> I don't know why it even started in the first place. What are we talking about? Rene Dupree wants Dominic Mysterio to hit the gym. He can if he wants to. Right now is a pretty decent time for him to start doing that if he really wants to get into it. I feel like he is. Now, you got to remember at the at the end of the day, this isn't like a video game. He's not just going to like, he's gonna he's not going to do like 50 reps and his arms explode. You know, it's going to take like months on months. And also he comes out like fully closed. Dax Harwood wants CM Punk and the Elite to work together again. That's just... That's like one guy in like a sea of people that are probably outright denying that, right? Saying that they don't want that to happen at all. I mean, I feel like it's prominent because it's Dax Harwood. And also you got to remember that him and Dax Harwood are good friends. So obviously Dax Harwood is going to not feel... Okay, for lack of a better term, he is going to be biased. For lack of a better term, he's going to be low-key biased about the whole situation. And he's going to say like, oh, I we work together and yada yada. So honestly... I don't know, okay? Secretly, I feel like CM Punk is gonna make his way back. I don't know, okay? Don't quote me. But I, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna sneakily stand conveniently close to the theory that we could potentially see CM Punk come back in the near future. But listen, I don't know. And if anyone asks, I don't know what this is. I never, okay? Never seen it before in my life. Justice for Nash Carter, huh? Justice for Nash Carter. As if we've just completely forgotten what he's done. I that just doesn't I don't understand why I don't know why they must know something that we don't know that's what I'm trying to understand here I'm trying to play devil's advocate here maybe it wasn't the right photo maybe his girlfriend is lying right we're not going to completely rule those out because it's uh, it's it's happened before not to him I'm saying in general there have been people right to lie about stuff like that to make the other person look bad because maybe they broke up with them or something like that you know what I mean so let's not let's not a hundred percent rule it out okay all I'm saying is that he, as from what I can tell, he did those things, right? And to bring him back, even knowing those things is weird to me specifically. And I feel like it's going to be weird to other people. And if he does come back, that's your mama. Okay, that is their decision. I don't even know. I don't even know. What would you even say to that other than, oh, no, right? So, I guess we're just going to have to wait and see if he actually does come back, and I hope he doesn't. Folks, that's going to do it for this episode. Hopefully, everybody has a wonderful tonight and a wonderful tomorrow. And as always, big hugs. Big hugs all around.